Hello again. Hey, let's talk now about what happens when our brains decide to pay attention to something. So cognitive scientists call this next phase of information processing short-term memory or working memory. For our purposes, we'll just call it short-term working memory. You might think of it like this. It's, it's like the, the window that's open on your computer right now. It's your focus for the moment, but can easily get disrupted or disappear altogether if you were to say close it without saving. Cognitive scientists also think of our short-term working memory as being comprised of four interrelated systems. There's what's called the phonological loop that deals with written or spoken words. There's something called the visual spatial sketch pad that deals with visual images and navigation. There's the uh, central executive that coordinates these two other systems that guides where we look and where we listen. Also, there's um, what's called an episodic buffer. Where that, it functions as something of a warehouse manager. It goes back to the storeroom, so to speak, for prior knowledge or memories as needed. Now, our short-term working memories have some rather annoying limitations. For starters, they can only focus on so much information at once. It's like having uh, two very small straws through which we can drink information from our environment. For example, you can really only look at one thing at a time. Either you're, you're watching the road or you're looking at your smartphone. You, you can't do both. Similarly, you can really only listen to the conversation at your table or the one behind you at the restaurant. Again, you can't do both. However, we can do this. We can actually look and listen at the same time. We can be watching the road and having a great conversation with the person in the passenger seat. And in fact, one of the best ways to learn is to pair visual with verbal information. Another irksome limitation of our short-term working memory is actually right there in the name. It's, it's short-term. We can only focus on something for about five to 10 minutes before our brains need a break. Another limitation of our short-term working memories is that they can only hold about seven plus or minus two bits of information at once. More than that and all those spinning plates start to crash. So while learning is in our short-term memory, we must begin to cluster and categorize and connect it with prior learning in order to hang on to it. 